Hey everyone, I'm Julie from Gleeful Things and today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable gold star pillows. There's no sewing involved at all. You're going to need fabric glue. I was given this speed sew to try out so that's what I'll be using. It needs to be applied with a toothpick so I'll have some of those too and a lid from a water bottle to squirt the glue into. I found this really pretty gold velvet on eBay but you could use pretty much any fabric you like. I'll put a link in the description box below where you can download my star pattern. It prints out into four pieces so you'll also need tape to put it together. Or you can just draw your own star, but I designed mine to be exactly the right size that you'll be able to get two pillows out of one yard of fabric. You're also going to need scissors, pins, and stuffing, which I forgot to take a picture of, but I'll put links to everything I'm using in the description box below. So the first thing you're going to do is print out the star pattern and cut out all the pieces and put them together so it looks like this and tape everything together. Now fold your fabric in half so you can cut two stars at once. Pin the pattern in place and then cut it out. Now you can remove all of the pins and we're gonna put the pieces together so that the right sides are touching. Or you could have cut it with right sides together to begin with. I don't know why I didn't think of that. And now we're ready to start gluing. I ended up putting down wax paper because I realized the glue leaked through the fabric a little bit and I didn't want it to get on my table. So just apply your glue to the very edge of the fabric and then fold the top piece down. Press down a little bit just to make sure it sticks together. Work your way around the entire star with the glue and you want to make sure that you leave a little section not glued that way you can stuff it later. Make sure you give the glue plenty of time to dry. I think I gave mine about 3 hours but it depends on the glue that you're using. Now you can turn it right side out through the hole that you left. I used my scissors to help with each of the points. And now you're ready to stuff it. I stuffed each of the points first and then filled in the middle. I found that it's best to use really small bits of stuffing because it makes it less lumpy. It's going to be a little lumpy anyway, unfortunately, but if that bothers you, you could always use crushed velvet instead. I think that would probably hide it a little better. Now we just have to glue the hole shut. This part was really hard for me to do in front of the camera, unfortunately, but what I did was fold the edges in and pin it shut. Then I used my toothpick to stick glue inside. Just give it time to dry and then take the pins out. I hope you have fun making these and I'd love to see yours. If you post yours on Twitter or Instagram, be sure to hashtag gleeful things so I can see.